Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today I have another pocket dump for you as well as some blade show info. So uh, wanna know what I've been carrying this past week and wanna help me out make uh, blade show the best success I can for the channel? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So Blade Show is coming up uh, very quickly and I am super stoked for it. And I want your guys' opinion. What do you wanna see at Blade Show? Uh, what kind of videos are you looking for from it? Uh, random pocket dumps on people? Um, certain vendors that you wanna see? What gear they have going on? Let me know what that is and I will try to make that happen. Also, what gear should I get at Blade Show? I am super excited to go and pick up some new stuff. Um, one of the things I am looking for personally is a front pocket fixed blade. So uh, I'll, I'll keep my eyes out for something cool to fit that role. But what do you guys wanna see me get or what is something you wanna see on the channel a review of? So comment below uh, videos you wanna see from there and gear you would like me to pick up from there. I'm not gonna get a ton of stuff, but I'm definitely picking up some things while at Blade Show. So your opinion might help alter what I get. Um, so yes, Blade Show. And if you are there and you see me, uh, come say, hey, give me a shout, you know, like, uh, give me a shout, yell, yell my name across, I'll try to find you. But yeah, hook up if you're at Blade Show and uh, we'll get a photo together or I might do a random pocket dump of you. So you might get to see yourself on a video on the channel. Um, but yeah, Blade Show's coming fast and I'm super stoked for it and ready for some brand new gear. But we are also here for a pocket dump. So we'll start out with that and we will start out with uh, the watches. This is the uh, G-Shock uh, camo. Uh, that's in black multicam, absolutely love that. And then I have my Fitbit Sense 2 on the other wrist. Uh, love my Wonder Woman bands. And uh, I have a regular watch, which I love. Love having a regular watch, a standard watch that I can look at and know the time and the date, et cetera, et cetera. And I like having the fitness tracker for fitness tracking, health tracking, that kind of thing. So two watches it is. This isn't for everybody, but it's what works for me. And then uh, in the front right pocket, inside of the pocket itself, I have the standard stuff that you are used to seeing. Um, got the Listerine breath strips. Always have those ready to rock and roll. Have some coinage that I keep in my pocket for whatever. And then I have a small 20 sided die. Um, this is for the toddler. I know I've got some new people on the channel checking stuff out. So I thought I'd kind of give you a more rundown than I normally do. But I have a, I have a little two year old. And when we're out and about, if he starts uh, needing something to entertain him, because he's getting a little wild, I bust this out and this will entertain that kid forever. If we're at a restaurant, he will roll the dice on the table. If we're out and about and he's in a shopping cart, he will hold it and play with it. So something so small that brings entertainment and makes all of our lives easier is a definite win in my book. And then the other item I have that you can kind of see right there, the handle. So there's the clip that I have on it and this knife slides right out. I'm ready to rock and roll. That is the SC Azula 2 and it slides right back in and I have this attached with the uh, Ulti clip. This is the Slim 3.3 and uh, it's getting caught on the ridge of my pants pocket. But so I, I wanted a front pocket uh, folding fixed blade and I want one that's like dedicated for it but I wanted to make sure that I would actually use it and enjoy it before I go in and throw down money on one that is kind of made for it. And so I have the SC Azula 2. It's a nice that I love. I actually have a new sheath um, for it, a very nice sheath for it that I'll be showing you uh, at some point here in the future. But uh, I did some research and found that the Ulti clip uh, works really well for front pocket style and it has a great attachment point so you can attach it to multiple different knife sheaths and it works really well on the Azula 
I've got it set up as high as I can. And so what that does is it allows the whole sheath to be submerged in the pocket. And it also allows the minimal hand, uh, the minimal amount of handle shown uh, as I can with this, makes it super discreet. The knife actually fits really well in pocket. I was surprised. Uh, this is probably larger than a front pocket knife than I want. Maybe not necessarily in length, but um, I guess maybe bulk of sheath. Like if this knife, you know, had a, a much smaller sheath on it, you know, that that's kind of what I'm imagining for a front pocket um, knife. But this one, even with the sheath, the size that it is, works really well in pocket, um, at least for me. And I find that with the way I've set up the clip, I can slide my hand on here and push off with my thumb and easily remove the knife. I'm ready to go. And then it just slides right in and that ulti clip holds tight. So the clip itself, if you haven't seen one, you pull up on this front side and it loosens up this. And so you slide your pants or whatever it is you're clipping this on up into there. And then when you push this down, that thing locks back down in place and it is not coming off, not easily, not without probably tearing whatever material this is on. So it works really well. I do wanna get, like I said, a, a fixed blade with a sheath that is made for front pocket carry. Um, but until then, this dude has been riding in my pocket and I actually use this way more than I thought I would. Um, so yeah, fixed blade has been in the front pocket and my t-shirt covers up the handle because my t-shirt normally sits a little below where my pockets start. So you don't really even know I'm carrying this and uh, it's, it's just a really good everyday user blade as you could tell by the blade up here. I've been putting it to use. I think that is actually some uh, tape from cutting open a box with it. So SC Azula 2 with the Ulti Clip has become my front pocket carry for a knife. And even with that in my pocket, I pulled out all my stuff on, you know, on purpose first. I can still get to everything in my pocket even with the knife in it. So really great setup, loving that. Uh, let's see, clipped into my pocket, my knife of choice for the week has been the Chris Reeves Sabenza. It is just an excellent knife. I actually did a short on it and it got me remembering how much I really do love this blade. So it's been seeing pocket time, which it has not in a while. But uh, my opinion is, you know, whether you're spending $7 on a knife or whether you're spending $400 on a knife, for me, I buy a knife to use it. So I bought the knife, I'm going to use it. And man, is that fun to use. And then clipped into the, the upper pocket here itself, I have a new little bonus item. I'll be doing a review on this but this is the Open Glow. I got this out of the most recent Olight cell. So mine is an OD green, as you can tell. And that's all I'm telling you now. I'll do a review on it, but I, I got this early on in the cell and I liked it so much, I ordered a second one while the cell was still going on. So I do have another one of these in a different color. I will do a full review on this pen because I really do enjoy it. But I have the Open Glow in my pocket. And last and third knife in the mix, on this right side, I have my uh, Victorinox Compact that I modded. So it has the scissors here and it has the 3D screwdriver, which is what I wanted on a, on a knife, uh, on a Victorinox, and I couldn't find it in this small style. So I made my own, absolutely love it, customized the scales, and uh, here, hopefully pre-blade show, I will be switching these scales out for some other scales. So stay tuned for that video. And then also in my back pocket, I have some cash. Uh, on my other side, I have my Gondak EDC uh, Multicam Black Hank. Uh, it's just a cool looking Hank, and it has the nice microfiber on the inside. Works really well for cleaning knife blades, which obviously I don't do near enough. Cleaning phone screens, which I do frequently, or even you know polishing up my watch screen here. And then in pocket, I have my uh, Pixel Buds. These are the Pro Series, my, my new uh, addition to my earbud collection. And these have some awesome noise canceling. So I will pop these on when I'm cutting grass and I can hear my podcast perfectly and I don't have to worry about hearing the lawnmower super loud. It kind of comes in at like a drone, like a dull noise in the background. Um, and then also, uh, I really like the, um, 
the uh, transparency mode that allows me to actually hear what's going on. So very cool there. And then the last item I have is I'm still rocking my Desert Tan Olight i3T with a 10440. In my opinion, that is a must with this flashlight because it bumps up the, the lumens so drastically that I'm having trouble going back to a um, rechargeable flashlight because that one does so well like that. So that's been my carry. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you have been carrying uh, this past week and uh, what you think of this. You've actually seen a lot of new items. I normally don't show this many new items in a, in a video. I do a, a review of them first, but there you go. You got to see a lot of cool stuff. So let me know what you think of that. Have you tried any of these items? Have you used the Ulti clip on a fixed blade or something else? Let me know your thoughts on that because I've had this for about four days now. So this is very new to me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you've been doing below, what you want from Blade Show, and I will be back soon with some new content. Thanks so much, guys. And remember, EDC, EDC.